Welcome, Drink with James, episode 191. I am in my dad's condo in Fort Lauderdale, quarantining with my girlfriend down here. We um, had booked a trip uh, a while ago to Miami. Um, last, last week feels like last month. Um, was down here for a couple days. Things got progressively worse in New York. My dad left his condo in Florida to go up to Virginia. This place was empty. We figured better to wait out, uh, wait this thing out and quarantine here rather than in our very small, dark apartment in New York. Um, what this means is I'm, I'm going to try and project a bit here. We don't have uh, our mics and everything. I think we're maybe going to get some sent down here, so hopefully the sound gets better. Um, but you'll just have to bear with us on this episode. We will get better in future ones. And I'll keep this one fairly brief. First, I'll start off by saying I hope everyone is safe. I hope you're doing okay. These are not only confusing and dangerous times, um, but they're also just really stressful and difficult. I know I start every day feeling optimistic and ready to tackle the day and end every day feeling like I got the shit beaten out of me. Uh, it's, it's hard and I hope you all are doing what you can to stay connected and stay positive and keep working on things. I, you know, as I said in Last Drink with James, I do think that the influencer space is uniquely positioned to, you know, survive this crisis. Um, but we are also seeing unprecedented economic downturn. You know, even in, in the Great Depression, uh, things didn't go from they're going pretty well to they're going terribly overnight. Um, so the world has never really dealt with anything like this before. Um, and that means a lot of uncertainty. And when there's a lot of uncertainty, people don't spend money. Um, and so we can only expect the downturn for businesses to get worse and worse and worse. Um, but, you know, we don't really know what the government is doing yet uh, for businesses and individuals. Seems like they're going to be trying to do what they can. Um, and there is some good news coming out of China as far as that economy turning around and, and them bouncing back pretty quickly. So, you know, I said in the last uh, Drink With James, I said, uh, you know, all influencers should project this year 20, 20 or 30 percent down so assume you'll make 20 or 30 percent less money than you did last year um, you may want to even lower that more you know as you think about your spending and I think look at the expenditures that you have look at the things you spend money on and cut whatever you can right now um, and try as I would any outstanding invoices you have where the brand hasn't paid you I would also reach out immediately. We are already getting messages from large brands. I'm not going to say who, but very large, very well-known brands saying we are not paying any bills until further notice. Um, so look, it's going to be a tough, at least a tough month, um, if not a tough couple of months. And uh, I hope that you guys are, are prepared for it. And I hope that um, in addition to staying safe, you're, you're kind of, keeping an eye on your business and making sure you get through this um, because you guys run small businesses and it's just, it's a, it's a tough, confusing time. So let me get into some questions. On that, talking about small businesses, one of the questions was, you know, should influencers be doing things for free right now to help small businesses? In general, you know, we were, I was on a phone with the brand, uh, one of our clients this week, and I was talking about how, you know, over the last five or six years, brands have carried the influencer industry, right? You guys have given them content and advertising and, and publicity and all of these things, and they have given money, right? Um, and this is a really, really scary time to run a business. Um, certainly, there's a lot of small businesses that are not going to survive this um, but there's also a lot of large businesses that are not going to survive this. Having to close your stores down is catastrophic. I cannot, it would be impossible to overstate how painful that is for the vast majority of brands that are 
you know, do have retail stores. Um, and so I think any brand that has supported you, any brand that you have worked with, especially ones that you've worked with consistently, you need to be thinking about what can you do to try and help them through this crisis. You know, how can you help them without money right now um, to grow their business? And absolutely, you should be looking at the small businesses, the restaurants, the bars, the nail salons, the, the people in your community, the, the indie brands that you love and thinking about how you can support them. Um, you know, a lot of brands only have two or three months of runway in the bank. Runway is... Um, essentially how much time you have if you stopped making money today, how much, how long could you run your business? A lot of businesses only have a few months of runway in the bank. So we're facing a very, very real situation where if this goes on for two months, you could see 50% of the small businesses in America not be able to survive. Um, that's with no government intervention, but still it is a really scary time to own any size business. So one, any business that supported you, go out, reach out to them, ask how they're doing, ask what you can do. Don't even have to ask, just start posting stuff that makes sense. You don't want to shove product down your, your community's throat right now. This isn't the time for that necessarily, but you can do it in a tasteful way and integrate it and, and say, hey, I'm, I'm trying to support these brands because I know things are hard right now. And for small businesses, get creative, right? It, a lot of these smaller businesses don't have e-com. Um, so you can't even drive to their website. Um, I have a friend, Luke Beard, uh, on Instagram. He's, we've done a little bit of work with him. Uh, he's a photographer. I saw that he offered to shoot uh, photos for any restaurant in his city, uh, which was Atlanta, shoot any restaurant uh, that needed photos for their takeout menu, he would shoot it for free. Obviously, that's something you generally would charge a decent amount of money for. I thought it was a small but really nice way to do that. I saw Jess Kirby pull together a list of small businesses in her area and ways to uh, support them. I've seen a lot of influencers talking about ways to support their small businesses in their community. You absolutely should be out there thinking about that because I cannot stress enough how real it is that the vast amount of those businesses could disappear in the next few months if we don't do something. But don't forget the big businesses as well. You know, don't forget those larger companies. They are not invincible, you know, and they don't have endless amounts of money. Um, and they, <clears throat> excuse me, and they need, you know, they need support as well. I think you probably don't need to support Amazon right now. They're probably fine. Um, Purell, doing okay uh but essentially other than that most businesses are suffering really really badly so yes do what you can question number two is should i adjust my rates during this time absolutely I, again you're, you're talking about a loss of sales for these companies that is so dramatic you're you, you know you like i I just, again, I just can't overstate how bad this is for companies. And companies will still advertise, but if you were charging $1,000 two weeks ago, you have to understand the world that you charged $1,000 in, that world doesn't exist anymore. It's gone for now. And we will get back to something like it at some point, but right now that world doesn't exist. So if you're, you know, if you're a macro influencer, you've got, 400,000 followers, you char usually we're charging five or $6,000 for a post. I argue that like that is no longer realistic. I would think you should be lowering your rates 20 to 30% right now. Absolutely. Um, you have to be conscious of the market and where the market is. Um, you know, prices are driven by market economics. And the fact is, as I said in my last video, no matter what, demand is going to fall. When demand falls, prices need to fall as well. So if, if you haven't already dropped your rates, do it um, because that is coming. And, you know, another piece of advice is that, you know, I would work in the next two weeks to get on the phone with as 
many clients as you can. If you are, if you have closed the campaign, but it hasn't, you haven't created content or you haven't posted it or whatever, if there's an existing campaign you're on and you haven't spoken to that client yet, you need to make that absolutely number one priority. You have to speak to that person in the next week. You've got to touch base, you know. We've, been, we've talked to all of our clients um, this week, um, which has been great. And, and, you know, generally we are just tweaking the brief to have it make sense in the new reality that we live in, or we're just postponing it two to three weeks um, to kind of see where we're at. So you need to be proactive with that. But in general as well, you, you know, but also, you know, a lot of the clients, they're sitting at home, they're all working from home now, they've got a little bit more time might be a good time to reach out and brainstorm, you know, say, hey, um, we'd love to get on a Zoom call. I know you guys probably aren't spending money right now, but, you know, I've got some ideas for the summer that I think could be fun. It would be just be nice to catch up, you know, do a happy hour with your clients, you know, they're, trust me, like, I know y'all's lives have changed, but also you have to think these, you know, your clients are used to going to an office every day and being social and seeing people. They're not doing that either. And so reach out to people. Get on the phone with them. Take this time to strategize, to brainstorm, so that when things do return to normal, you're in a much better place. Um, I also want to mention we have launched a Slack channel both for brands and for influencers. Um, we will put the links to join those channels in this video. Um, please respect uh, the you know the delineation. And if you are at a brand, stay in the brand one. If you're in the at, if you're an influencer apply to be in the influencer one. These are only helpful if we can be really candid and open and we try and keep them separate for that reason. Um, but I saw, I've already seen really great things in those channels. I saw an influencer say that she's launched a kind of how, the, like a, a, a seminar course that she's charging a little bit to her followers for. Um, get creative, you know, if your sponsored posts are drying up, Get creative about what you can do and how you can potentially make money. Um, and if it's not charging, you know, if you don't want to charge your followers for something, which is, again, understandable in this time, like take it as a time to learn a new skill. Do an online course about video editing. Dive deep into photography. Dive deep into Photoshop. You know, this is the time to build a new skill. Start a TikTok channel, you know? I believe it was in the art of war where they said in chaos there is opportunity um, and we are in chaos right now uh, and there are opportunities there uh, for you to become better at what you do to grow your business uh, to come out of this crisis stronger um, so we might be doing more drink with james than usual um, i just have been scrambling around this week and finally settled so hoping to put more of these out potentially thinking about doing short uh, nightly ones, like 8, 9 p.m. Uh, with different influencers. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Uh, of course, ask questions. Um, there are a lot of questions now. The more, the merrier. Uh, and make sure to join us on Slack and we can uh, talk in real time then. Again, hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you're staying inside. Please, um, the American Healthcare system cannot withstand um, this virus if we don't do our part to contain it. So please stay inside and we will get through this and we'll see you on the other side. Cheers. Mm -hmm.